Thanksgiving, and do I have a recipe for you? It's a beautiful roast with stuffing, my favorite food, and why we only have it once a year is not okay with it. I guess that makes me appreciate it more, but I could eat stuffing 365. And I also live for gravy, like a good, rich, hearty, deep brown, roux-driven gravy. But I have a twist. This one's completely meatless, and you will not even know the difference. Corn is a company that is actually global, um, and it has come here to this country, and I am the new CMO. That's Chief Mom Officer. That's right. And I care about the messaging and the marketing and the branding, and I am addicted to this product, and I believe in it. And now our show is working with them, too, and they have a selection of delicious meat-free products that are available nationally at Whole Foods and in the frozen meatless section at several other grocery stores around the country. This is very accessible. And I find it unparalleled in taste, integrity, it is something that I'm very proud to be a part of this company. My kids and I eat it. Um, and so first, um, this is Corn's Meatless Vegetarian Turkey. It is so easy to prepare. You just preheat your oven to 425 degrees and you place it on parchment paper and you put it on a baking sheet. Uh, if it's frozen, it's about 55 minutes. If it's thawed out, it's about 50. And then we're gonna prepare a mushroom gravy in this pot. All right, our heat is on. So I have sauteed down these mushrooms with shallot and a little olive oil with the butter so the butter doesn't burn. And do not salt your mushrooms until the last minute because it actually leaches the water out. So it completely changes the dynamic of them. So once they're cooked, you wanna give them that salt and pepper. So we're gonna make a roux right here and I'm gonna put the flour in and then I'm just gonna mix that together for about two minutes until it kind of all coalesces and congeals and coats. Never met a roux I didn't love. <laughs> and then the next step you would take is adding in your white wine. Then I'm gonna add the next step is my stock. Oopsie daisy, that's right. Yeah, there we go, yeah. I'm not perfect in the kitchen, nor do I ever act like it. The new book is called Rebel Homemaker for a reason. Um, you know, if I'm laughing and my hair is on fire and I'm enjoying myself and I'm happy, that's how it works and looks in the kitchen at my house. All right, so I just added tamari, which is so amazing. Salty, umami, delicious. It also brings a beautiful color and helps add that richness um, to the gravy. And then you're just gonna take a little bit of herbs, um, parsley, sage, and thyme, and I'm gonna throw it in, I'm gonna bring it down to a simmer, and I'm gonna go for about 10 minutes, and then um, we have a chef that works with corn, the great Stephen, and he had this great idea to put your stuffing in a waffle maker. And I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I can get into that. So again, I love a classic stuffing, and what uh, Pilar brought the idea to this dish was adding dried cranberries in it. And because this does go in a waffle maker, I did love the idea of the subliminal sweetness because we think of waffles as something that we put syrup on and we're going with a savory gravy. So the dried cranberries give that little pop. So now that we've got all this, I'm just gonna show you what an end result will be. I'm moving everything to the side. Here is my end result of my gravy. One thing that I really love about this gravy too, it has really large pieces of mushroom, which if you're a vegetarian, by the way, your mushroom is your best friend. Um, so basically, here you go. You can do this. You can move your little waffle. And then I'm gonna struggle to get these on the plate and see, okay, yeah. Um, but, so, 
Here is my take on a, oh, see what I did? I ran out of gravy, oh well. Um, it's all gonna go in the same place anyway. Um, but I'm just so excited to be working as the new CMO of Corn, and this is our first dish that we're making on the show, and it'll be the first of many. To any parents out there or nugget lovers, I've never had nuggets this amazing in my life. There is no soy in this product. It's so wonderful, and they have so many different types of products. I am so proud and excited to bring this Thanksgiving alternative to you. So make sure you go to the DrewBarrymoreShow.com for the full recipe and for the perfect picky eaters in your house, try these nuggets. We'll be right back.